want the free coupon? Yes, I want it. Go to your right. I mean left. Just FYI, we don't make those coupons yet and until Bharat decides to pull something off like Scott's Tots, you might want to watch this video till the end because I'm covering how much did it really cost to study in Germany. Let's go. As always, before we start the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. A quick disclaimer, this video only includes the cost you will require to start studying in Germany and all the prices are approximate. Now studying in Germany is free but that's the only case for tuition fees and that alone saves you lakhs of rupees if you compare it with universities from US or Canada. Right from applying to your future German universities to booking your visa appointment to packing your bags and to finally flying to Germany, there are some mandatory costs which you need to pay. Let's start with the first one. The cost here is quite variable. Some universities have their own platform for students to apply while some work with Uniassist. In case your university does not charge you any application fees, you're lucky. Well, it's your lucky day! In other cases, if you're going to Uniassist, it will charge you 75 euros for your first desired course and every additional course would be 30 euros. So let's say if you're applying to five universities, the total cost would be 75 euros for the first win and the rest four would be 30 euros each. The cost comes around 195 euros or roughly 15,000 rupees. Now, the cost is variable as I said because if you apply to more universities, you'll pay more money and if your university does not charge you any application fee, well, you save some bucks. Before you apply to the universities for English taught programs, you would need IELTS or TOEFL. The fees for IELTS are 15,500 rupees Whereas for TOEFL, it's around 190 US dollars or 15,200 rupees. We'll take the IELTS price for our total cost as it is one of the most common exams students appear for while applying for Germany. Now your admit is here. Woohoo! Congratulations! Now you have to book your visa appointment. The student visa fees in Germany is 6,300 rupees with an additional 848 rupees as the VFS service charge. Now, you can opt for the pick up and drop service provided by VFS for your D visa stamping and that will cost you additional 1100 bucks. So you can say that roughly visa will cost you around 9500 rupees in total. But now your visa is done and the next thing is flights. The average flight price from Mumbai to Hamburg is 35,000 rupees. Not going to be the cheap ones, but considering that you might have to add additional luggage or book your flight, just three or four weeks after you receive your visa, you can expect the cost to be around 45,000 rupees. The block account amount has now been increased to 11,208 euros for your first year of studies and this is not a fee because you are anyways going to get this money back every month while you're studying in Germany in your first year. If you're making your blocked account with Expatrio and you opt for their value package, you will not just receive your health insurance in that range, you will also receive your incoming travel insurance which is mandatory for all the students. You shouldn't really count your health insurance in the total cost because the 934 euros per month which you'll receive from your blocked account already includes payments for your insurance. So what's the total cost? Well, considering with some service charges and fees, you will pay roughly 11,500 euros or 9.15 lakhs. In Expatrio's case, you'll get some of this money back as cash back once you activate your blocked account and health insurance, but we'll just keep some extra money for good measure. 
In Germany, all students at all higher education institutions must pay a semester contribution. This shouldn't really count towards tuition fees as this cost includes your student services, semester tickets, and administration charges, etc. The cost could vary from 100 euros to 400 euros per semester depending on your university. So taking the maximum amount, you'll pay roughly 1600 euros for your two years of studies which comes roughly around 1,25,000 rupees. Now, this semester contributions is valid for 15 out of 16 states in Germany, but for the state of Baden-Württemberg, the cost is 1,500 euros per semester. You'll end up paying almost 5 lakh rupees for your two years of studies in Germany. So, what is the cost of studying in Germany? If you add up everything which I discussed in the past few minutes, you will get a rough cost of around 11.35 lakhs. I know, it's a lot. And if you're coming from a middle class family, this just feels huge. But there's one thing to know here. 9 out of these 11.35 lakhs already cover your first year of stay in Germany, including food, insurance, accommodation, everything. I haven't included any costs which are more subjective like clothes, baggage, electronics, etc. because these change drastically from person to person and you can just add them up on the top of these 11.35 lakhs. Well, that's it for this video. Share this video with your friends who are thinking about studying in Germany and maybe this will help them manage their finances better. See you soon. Bye -bye.